Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in this video we're gonna check into the 6th of July 2022 and uh, what Taro pretty much has to tell us for that particular day so uh, if any of you is uh, interested into uh, having a personal reading with me you can always uh, go to my website which you're gonna find in the description down below and uh, there at the very front page you're gonna see full list of my services and as well their pricing so with that uh, said doing the cut and uh, let's check on the cards the first card for the day that is going to be the uh, king of uh, swords followed up with the second card of the day which uh, stands for the death card and the final card of the day uh, that is going to be the six of pentacles so uh, th this is the elemental dignity that we do have for the day okay that is uh, that is pretty much how it stands king of swords in the middle with influenced by the death from one side and by the six of pentacles from the other all right so this is going to be um quite of a complicated day uh, the cards which we do have over here uh, they do refer to quite of a complex situation that probably dragged for a quite a while several months to maybe as well several years the thing it is that having that king of swords guys uh, next to the um, the death card that elemental dignity is active uh, neutrals and pretty much it speaks about a situation which is almost dead and when i say almost i really mean it but the crushing blow the 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 the, uh, the killing blow haven't been delivered yet and therefore while it is almost dormant uh, still there is some kind of an attachment from our behalf to the situation and from the other side to the situation as well so that pretty much links us uh, the, the only thing that comes to my mind is some kind of unfinished um, un unfinished relationship that it is that it is out there you know but it could be as well something else now bottom line is that uh, the day will have a complicated situation uh, most likely related with some kind of uh, negotiation some kind of conversations talks analysis so the thing it is that everybody that it is concerned or almost everybody those that depends on that things depends on which are concerned with the situation itself um they are we are going to pretty much uh talk about it and uh analyze it to the very bottom of it and uh thus it's uh thus the 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 a line is going to be drawn i don't know how to explain it but through that analysis it will be established why things went south why uh you know what what kind of an obstacles thou faced uh, how those obstacles could have been avoided if could have been avoided what can be done right now in favor of the either way and when i say either way i mean that the outcome of all that is going to be very situational a very different for every single one of us because some of us through that analysis will decide that you know it's better off being separate it's better off everybody goes their own way and there the solution is pretty much imminent but some of us are going to decide, you know what, it wasn't fair, you know what, it was very, very premature, it was stupid to, to break it off, right? It, it was stupid to abandon it or to abandon each other. And let's give it another go. Now it's going to be quite difficult though. And that can be seen here from the King of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles, it is the little brother of the hierarchy, which pretty much represents that the structure in regards to uh, the situation that we are in, that it is not yet finished, but almost finished. And yet the, the strongest tether, the strongest thread, it, it, it's still alive out there. That, that is like the... Um, coronal artery right 
of the uh, of the situation or coronary artery or whatever you call it and uh having it next to the king of swords uh, that that elemental dignity is active enemies and, and it pretty much speaks that there are going to be a lot of fundamental obstacles uh, right away plights that the whole thing can work out but the other but the other elemental dignity is really stronger and, and it pretty much speaks that if thou is is willing to get to the very end of it and doesn't back off it doesn't waver it it shows resolve um then the the results are going to be promising or the prospect of the whole thing it's really really promising the only problem is that it's going to take time and efforts and what doesn't really so these fundamental problems could be stretching into many gazes um depending on the situation that could be different involvement at this very moment it could be uh different locations like for example two people still loving each other deciding to give another chance but they are living in different countries halfway across the globe for example right and uh th this is this is how these fundamental problems stands that cannot be given a solution right away or immediate solution but with time that solution is going to come to us. In other words, either way we go about it, whether we decide to make the severance with the hobby, with the project or with the person, uh, it's gonna work for us. But the decision needs to be in favor of us. This, is, this, doesn't, this should not be a decision out of stubbornness or out of ego and, and so on and so forth. If we decide to make to, to give it another go, uh, through that analysis that we are gonna make throughout the day, these conversations, uh, the way out of difficulties, of these fundamental difficulties is going to be revealed to us as well. So uh, it's, it's a day where, it's a day of freedom really, because one way or another, uh, we will have a pretty clear understanding what, at least in one aspect, what the future really, really holds for us. And uh, one thing less as well to worry about. So with that said, guys, that was uh, our uh, Daily Dose of Tarot. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it. And uh, we are to see each other next time, I hope. Until then, bye.